Oh shit, I'm sweating. I am dripping. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just anxious. Most of the events in the men's open would be PRs. I'm excited, but I'm terrified. <laughs> Trap bar, 5.30. I know that I can hit that. That's what I'm gonna do today. Deadlift on an axle, 5.30. Not sure about that. And then the normal bar for 560, I mean shit, if I get to 530, I'll be happy. <laughs> Let's be honest here. For the loading, 300 pounds to 250, that I should be okay with. The duck walk, 425, that should be fine. As long as my grip can hold up, honestly, I'm not too worried about that at all. The one vent that I'm worried about is the axle. The axle clean and press to keg, back and forth. It's 275 for the axle, and then I think 255 or 265 on the keg. If I get it up here, but the actual clean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. And, that, and that's what scares me. That's a heavy weight to be thrown around. And then the Conan wheel for 500. I mean, shit, I have no idea. If I can pick it off the ground, take it two steps, I'll be happy, let's be honest here. I had convinced myself that I was gonna do novice just so I could run through it, get an easy win. But then I really, I really put some thought into it. And what's even the point of competing if I'm just going for the win? I mean, sure, I'll get a little medal, a little trophy or something, but what is it gonna, what is it gonna mean? The answer to that is pretty much nothing. Versus if I go there, I zero every single event, but I get one PR. That'll be worth more than any piece of plastic or metal that anyone could give me. <sighs> I don't know if you can see this, but I'm sweating. I am dripping. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just anxious. Excited? But mostly just scared. <laughs> I've never actually owned a pair of knee sleeves before because my calves are too big for most knee sleeves. <laughs> Just have to put them up like Max showed me. God damn, this is rough. So the comp weight for trap deadlift is 530. I'm about to hit 500. I'm fairly confident that I should be able to do this for three, four reps. So I'm just gonna practice that. Just to strengthen the legs, I'm gonna do, depending on how it feels on, on my knees, two to three sets of the 500. But right now, the, the weights are feeling really good. The 405 felt like air. So I should be able to hit this a couple times. We're the, so I'm alone in the gym right now. and. Uh, I don't know, this is scary. Feels like I might have, you know, I'm biting off more than I can chew. If I walk out of that event with one point, one point, that's all I want, one point. I think I'll be happy with one point. Let's do this, I guess. God, I'm so, I'm so sweaty. So I just got a message. I'm so excited to have you compete at our show, brother. Fake confidence. Hell yeah, it's gonna be insane. No, I just hit 500 for a bunch of reps. I know for a fact I'm not gonna get zero on this, uh, at this competition. I'm at least gonna get one, one point. I'm gonna get a point of this contest. After that, everything's a PR. But we have 30 days and we're gonna make our way there. Now, one small issue is that the gym that I'm at right now doesn't have an axle. But it has this one weird bar that's thicker than all the others. So I think we're gonna start there. Now, I've never actually done this movement before. I've just seen it a bunch. So I'm just gonna do very lightweight and just practice the motion, just so I can get it down before I go any heavier. I know that I can clean 135 for days, so that should be okay with that. But let's see what happens. Now, personally, I find this to be arguably the ugliest movement in, in all of strongmen. 
Because when you watch the pros at really heavy weights and you just see their backs arching, that terrifies me. No event is worth a bulged disc. And that's just a fact. Double grip, bring it up, and then change it, and then rotate it. So we'll try that with this low weight here and we'll see how it feels. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely some support there. So. I don't want to go heavy just because that I did my shoulders yesterday. So this is as heavy as I'm going to go. And you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. All things considered, it's really not that bad. I'll go a little bit heavier just to get a feel for it, but we're, we're not gonna go actually heavy today. I'm gonna save that for, for another video. I can't be the only one that when there's different colors, you go for the colors. I will move every single one of these motherfuckers just to get the color going. <laughs> so this is gonna be 185, which is gonna be 100 pounds under comp weight. If this feels comfortable, I think next time I'll be able to try to push it up to 230. So 135 felt actually really, really, really good. Um, I'm not gonna press it, but I'm just gonna get to clean just to see how it feels at different weights. This is the heaviest I'll have ever done this with because I don't do this exercise, obviously. I have to say though, these knee, these knee sleeves are so good. My knees are so warm right now. No pain, nothing. I'm jiggling around. I am loving every second of this. It's a little bit different than an actual because it is a thinner bar. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad when it comes to cleaning. I have no idea. I've, again, I've never done this. No, oh, it's too tight. Yeah. That actually felt really good. Again, it's 100 pounds less in comp weight, but it felt pretty good. I think I'm gonna do two more sets of this weight. It's very far off comp weight, but on my last throw and last shrug, whatever, I felt that I pulled a lot more on my shoulders. And I know that if I do that in comp, I'm gonna hurt myself. So it's a, it's a thing of technique at this point. Technique's gonna be more important than the weight. I'm gonna stick here for now. I'm gonna do two more sets of this. I think that'll be done for the day. I hate looking at myself from the side, but I need to study my technique and see where it lacks. I'm apologizing to everybody in advance for this horrible you gotta look at. <laughs> Catch it. And rotate. Nice. What about that? Close and it catches my belt. I have to release it right away, I can't catch it. Good to know. Nice. With my elbow sleeves, it'll be a lot, it'll be very comfortable and warm the whole time, so that'll be nice. Thirty days. I have to put 30 pounds on my deadlift in 30 days. Yeesh. See you guys on the next one.